What's up guys, kind of a blast from the past here. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the game that I basically founded this channel on years ago. And honestly, this is a video I'm surprised I haven't done sooner. And that is ranking every single final smash in the game, obviously on the tier list, best to worst as usual. So this is not an original idea. Hundreds of people have done this, but I know you guys want to hear my uh, unique takes on these, we'll say. So guys, let's just get into it. Let's rank every single Final Smash in Smash Ultimate from best to worst. And if you guys want me to do them for the other Smash games, I know there are some differences. Let me know in the comments below. We will do that. Anywho, uh, let's do Fox. So Fox, obviously, we get the Landmaster. No, this is a different game. Landmaster's old school. Honestly, I like this one, but hold on a minute. We gotta do one quick, one quick little change here. Um, for the sake of it looking as cool as possible, I turned off the HUD and we want it to kill. So one more time, some R wings. Just play a nice game of Star Fox. Fire at will, kicking some ass, and that's it. Beautiful. It is a perfectly fine starting point. I do miss the old control of a Landmaster of like brawl and stuff, but I still think it's actually pretty damn good. Let me put that in B tier. I think Fox starts out at a clean B tier. Okay, um, Simon Belmont is next. That's right, put him in the coffin, beat the crap out of the coffin, the shot of the moon. Then the holy water crash. Uh, I think that one's pretty good. Hold on, I want to do it one more time. I forgot. We'll do all these twice. We'll do all these twice. So what I want to know, so we got a nice smooth animation here. Just beats the crap out of this damn coffin, right? And then he's just dead. So I like that. It's a nice little animation. It feels a little less impactful than, say, Fox's was. So I think by that logic, that has to go. Um, put that in C tier. And put that in C tier. Alrighty, boys. Um, Mario time. This one's been the same since day one. Uh, the 999 was a little, a little too much damage on there. Hold on. Uh, I still don't think Mario's is the best though, because it is just a big ass fireball. It is A-OK. -okay. It is perfectly reasonable. It is very in character for Mario, but it's also super basic, dude. I like all of these for the most part, but I do think, but I do think it's super, super basic and has to go in E tier because it's literally just, he just fires a fireball. Sure, Mario would do that, but. A lot of these other ones have way fancier animations and stuff to the point where I can't really put it any higher. Okay, I don't even remember Peaches. Oh, that's right. She does whatever the hell this is. And then she can, like, heal. Yeah, that's uh, that's our first F tier, boys. Okay, Mewtwo. Uh, we just shoot the big ass, like, beam, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, here's where it gets a couple bonus points. Hold on, we'll, we'll do it again. So it gets a couple of bonus points, mainly because of the Mega Mewtwo Y transformation. Other than that, it's just a really, really big Shadow Ball. Like, I think it's actually the same projectile. So I really can't put it super high. But, but I think it is basically Mario's, but better. Which means Mewtwo's going right above Mario in each tier. Uh, Lucas is just, yeah, it's just Starstorm. Okay. Uh, it's not the worst one in the game. It has the benefit, and it does have the benefit of it at least calls in the boys. Like we get his friends, we get his dog, you know. So there's that. But I'd say it's just shy. It's just shy of F tier though. Greninja's I remember liking. Yeah, we basically get like the Strider Super. We, we literally just get Ragnarok. Which is pretty damn good. Um, I think it's animations a little bit lacking. Considering Greninja is a character new to Ultimate, you'd think you'd have a little more. But still, I really can't be mad about basically the Ragnarok Omni Slash situation he's got going on here. Plus, he turns into Ash Greninja, who's like never referenced in the game. So you know what? I'm going to put that reasonable B tier behind Fox. I'm going to be real with you. Oh, that's iconic. That, that, that is poetic. I didn't even pick Zero Samus. It randomed her. I don't remember Ridley's very well. What is Ridley's? Oh, that's right. He just blows up her ship, dude. Hold up. That one's sick. May be my favorite. And you see the ship crashing in the background. I completely forgot about this one. This is an S tier contender, I think. Let's watch it one more time. I think... I, I think we have an S tier, dude. That one is insane. And I just love the ship crashing back there as an extra detail. That's sick, dude. I'm gonna do it. Ridley's going in S tier. That's awesome and perfect and in character and all of the above. Okay, DK, I know DK, he's just a lot of punching. 
very Jojo Punch stuff. Uh, it's fine. I mean, it's it's fine. It's one of the most basic ones in the game. Like, like it, it's probably the most basic one. Like, he just repeats these two frames over and over again. It looks cool. It's just nothing special, really. It's really not. I gotta put him in F tier, but above Peach. So Daisy's, I'm pretty sure, is identical to Peach's, right? Just with different artwork, I guess. Um, it's still bad. It's still ass, but we got some sunflowers out of it, and I would, you know, Daisy's just objectively the superior Peach. Shout out to PC Nick. I, just that. Yeah, real talk, uh, Roy's, I'm pretty sure, is just one big hit. Yeah, I mean, here's, here's a couple things it has going for it before I shit on it, right? So, hold on. Just, uh, yep. So it has the nice little startup animation, the crit, and the fire after. But also, it's just one hit, dude. It's literally just one hit. It, it's a good hit, but it's just one hit. Which for me, puts it right above PK Starstorm. So Sonic the Hedgehog um, obviously becomes supersonic, which, oh my god. It should be one of the coolest ones in the game. Uh, it's not. Because you barely have any control, and he kind of just smacks him a couple times, man. It should be the coolest one in the game. And I'm going to give it some bias points just because I love Sonic. However, in Brawl, that would have been great. If this was a Brawl list, I promise he would be higher because you have full control over Super Sonic, and it feels powerful. But in this, dude, it, it just feels like... I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like weak. And Supersonic should never feel weak. I'm gonna be real. I do not remember what Power Tennis actually is. So we're gonna find out. The black hole and then the laser. That's right. Um, I actually like it. And I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna explain why real quick. Because look at Palutena. He's basically just like green goddess waifu. And then she's like overkill. Throw the black hole and then blast him, right? It's simple and on paper should not be that good, but the impact is there. And you guys have seen my previous list. No impact is basically everything. We're going behind. No, no, not that high. We're going behind Simon Belmont for that one. Because a good impact and just the over the top, just murder that she does. So Lynx gotta be the biggest downgrade in history. We literally just get one ancient arrow and that's it, dude. Remember what he used to do? Remember the sick ass Triforce slash he used to have? Reduced to a single ancient arrow. It's, it's powerful, but functionally, it's exactly the same as Zelda's used to be. I hate to do it. We're putting Link F tier. I'd be lying if I said I remember Bowser's. Uh, he turns into Giga Bowser, right? Yeah, and then he goes behind, and then we get this. This is cool. This is badass. One more time when it actually kills, right? Because, like, we get the transformation. We get some control over it. He's menacing as hell. Bowser's is good. Bowser's is great, actually. And it's so good. Throwing our boy in A tier. So I'm pretty sure Krom's is identical. Wait. Okay, you know what? You know what? It is actually better than Roy's. It's better than Roy's. I'm not gonna say it's great, because it's still like pretty basic. But it's better than Roy's, which counts for something. D tier behind Sonic. Okay, D D just summons the boys? No, that's not it at all. What do you do, D I do not recall. We get an animation. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this one's good. This was the trailer shot, bro. Uh, S tier. We're we're gonna watch it again. It's a good one. It's a very good one. Yeah, one more time. Just look at this, dude. The missiles. The spinning, like, blast with the hammered bra. Yeah, S tier. That's good. It's still good. Another one I can't remember. What the hell does Pac-Man do? Oh, okay. Uh, I like the reference. But it's kind of functionally the same as Super Sonic. Let's, let's do one where it kills. Like, yeah, I think it's cool. Um, uh, Pac-Man. There you go. Little weird to control, but basically the same as Super Sonic. It feels a little more powerful, but a little bit less fun to use, if that makes sense. Right below Super Sonic. Now, I know I said I, I know I said it's better than Super Sonic's, right? However, 
Pac-Man does not turn into Super Sonic. That's it. Richter's, I'm pretty sure, is identical to Simon's. Uh, yeah, exact same animation. Uh, however, the item crash, like the magic right there, makes more sense because Richter's the one that does that, not Simon. We'll give him one more go, but it is functionally the same and it's going to go in the exact same spot. It's not bad. It's still cool. I like the visuals. I like that change that transports you to Castlevania world. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's just you know I have to put it in the exact same spot. I'm gonna put it higher because I like Richter better. But the exact same spot as Simon's for sure. I'd be lying if I said I remember what the hell Steve's does. I stopped playing Smash around the time Steve came out, so I got no idea. Oh, that's right. He puts you. Yeah, yeah, that one's it's perfect, dude. It's so over the top for Steve, bro. He makes he basically traps you in a house and blows up the house. You're trapped with the creepers, and then he just starts eating some meat, dude. I don't know dick about Minecraft, and this, and I know this is great. I, I have to, I have to put Steve in S tier. I, I gotta put Steve in S tier. It's really good. Okay, so we know what Samus is at this point, right? Just the big old F U laser. Straight up cannot miss. It's perfectly fine. Like I said, the big laser ones are a little basic for me, but for Samus, it makes sense. You get some sick lighting, though. It feels powerful as hell. I can't really put it low. I feel like it's good enough. So I'm going to put it below Palutena. But functionally, it serves the same purpose. It's badass, big ass laser. It looks cool, but it could do more. And Samus has another one later. We'll, we'll, we'll see where she does do more. What the hell do the ice climbers do? Oh, it's still this, huh? Okay. This is this is crap. This is actual crap. Make this one nice and easy. Not quite as bad as Peach and Daisy, but damn near the bottom. All right, let's turn to the big octopus. Yeah, let's go. Um, big octopus is dumb. Like, I'm not crazy in in thinking big octopus is kind of dumb, right? Like, what else were they gonna do with Mr. Game and Watch, right? But also, they could have done better than Big Octopus. I don't know. Like I said, what else are they going to do with them? I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to put it right down here. A lot of the OGs get low rankings, honestly. Uh, Olimar, yeah, he just kind of takes off and leaves him to die and then drops his shit back on him. Uh, that one's fine. I like that it's a lot faster than it used to be. It's super fast. Like It's in like three times speed, it feels like. Uh, it's okay. I can't put that that high, but it's okay. I feel like it's missing a little something to push it over the top, but I don't quite know what that is. Um, it's not better than Roy, but it is better than Lucas. So bottom of, uh, yeah, B tier. That's it, man. So Robins, if I remember right, is it Omni Slash but with Crom too? It's like a, it's like a two-man Omni Slash. With a, it's actually, if you really stop and look at the animation, the animation's actually like sick for this one, right? Let's watch it one more time. Actually. Almost need to watch this in slow motion. Can I, can I do that? Hold on. I don't, I don't think it'll slow down for the uh, for the final smash. Okay, it does slow down. So just look how good the animation is for everything going on here. Like it's just perfect teamwork. It's pretty damn badass. I really can't give it S tier, but it's definitely being ranked higher than I thought it was going to. Like I said, it is just a fast badass combo, but it's a good one. Uh, A tier, it's not as good as Giga Bowser. A tier behind Giga Bowser. You know what? Top of B tier. That feels more right. Yeah, top of B tier. If I remember correctly, this might be another S tier incoming. Oh, it's definitely another S tier incoming. Hell yeah. Look at all the effort, dude. Blew up a whole damn island just to get one guy. We're going to give this one another go as well because I want to watch it. Like, just look at this. The big K rule laser, dude. It's so good. It also feels powerful and like it definitely should kill uh, S tier. You know, I still can't believe they put Sephiroth in Smash Bros. Uh, S tier incoming. This is why it's S tier. So they did the supernova, destroyed the damn planet, bruh. Okay, now that we got the wing out, let's do it again. But the reason this one's an S tier though is because they made the whole sprite for safer Sephiroth, which you never see. No one ever does the full safer Sephiroth. And then just the, dude. It's insane. It's guaranteed S tier. In fact, this might just be my bias speaking, but I'm putting it at the top of S tier. I don't give a shit, bro. Okay, so this is going to just be the same as regular Samus's, but a slightly different color, I guess. 
Uh, it's gonna go in the exact same spot as regular Samus as well. We're not gonna waste so much time here. I think Sheik's actually pretty sick, right? Yeah, dude. Look at the color. Drown out all the color. Do this insane combo. Awesome ninja stuff. Yeah. We're gonna watch it one more time when it'll actually kill. But once again, I just love the style of this one, dude. Once again, it's another just like combo super, but the added like style of like the, the almost no R look to it adds quite a bit, if you ask me. So here's what we're gonna do. A lot of supers in this game, right? But I wanna put that, I wanna put that in B tier behind Fox. Okay, man, that you're just another combo super, right? Yeah. Uh it's kind of the least interesting combo super, if you ask me. We're gonna watch it again. We're gonna watch it again. You gotta give him gotta give it two. But, yeah, he kind of just crashes into him a hundred times. And I'm sure it's well animated, but it's going so fast you can't really see. Yeah, I think it's kind of the most boring combo super yet. Not even that it's bad, it's just at this point we've seen a bunch of these. And after, like, Crom and Robins, you know, it's a little bit tougher. Uh, I'm going to put that... Um... Behind Palutena. Right, Lucario, we Mega Evolve. And then Big Ass Beam. So I like Mega Lucario's a lot, but hold on, we want to do Max Aura while we're at it. Not gonna change anything, but I just wanna do it. And then uh, then we just blast, yeah. It's a little more unique than the other beams, but it's still just a beam super. I, I like it, right? But it definitely doesn't compare to some of the other ones. I'm gonna say it's right there with the Samus's in C tier. Uh, Shulk's is a chain attack, right? Yeah, so, this one I like because it just shows everyone just beating ass. But I don't know, something is missing about the impact of this. And... i played every Xenoblade game, so something is definitely not here, right? Like, the transition's cool, but like... Holy crap, the spoilers! I didn't realize there was a spoiler character in the chain attack, but, um... But, I don't know, it's missing something, but theoretically it should be higher. So here's what I'm gonna do. Top of D tier. I don't know if I even agree with that one, but but top of D tier. What the hell is Isabelle's? I do not remember. Oh, that's right, she builds a house. And then the house explodes. It was poorly crafted. Um, I mean, I, it does the job, but we all saw what Minecraft Steve did with the exact same concept, right? I think it is fine. But not exceptional, not awful, so that puts it before Crom. No, no, there's no way it's not. No, it's not, not, not. Uh, yeah, before Crom, it is actually better than Mewtwo's. No, is it? No, it's not. Right there. <laughs> One thing I completely forget are theirs different depending on who you activate it with? Okay, so we got Burning Sword as Pyra. And I'm pretty sure it is different. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it totally is different. Burning Sword way better. Sacred Arrow kind of mid. Burning Sword way better. Let's watch it one more time. And Fire Mithra is such a good addition to this game, dude. Yeah, Burning Sword is so much better. It looks better than it does in its own game, dude. Here's the thing, though. We do get two supers for the price of one. Oh my god, there are two separate characters on here. I didn't realize. Okay, in that case... Um, we still get two supers for the price of one here. Um, Burning Sword, I'm gonna put right there. Maybe move Greninja up one. And Sacred Arrow. Sacred Arrow is kind of mid, right? Sacred Arrow is kind of mid. Put it right there. All right, let's, let's, let's do the, the Stampede. Yeah, let's go. The Yoshi's Story opening. It's so good. It's just a little fast is my only real complaint, but it's still pretty damn good. Um, we're gonna do it one more time because it's fun. Just this visual is perfect, dude. Absolutely perfect. So Yoshi's actually going fairly high. Yoshi, I like. We're gonna put Yoshi in A tier behind Giga Bowser, easily. Uh, so Zelda, I know Zelda's is kind of just, let's trap him in the Triforce of Wisdom and then blow it up for some reason. I think like physically, like on paper in game, it's literally like the best one in the game. Because you can't escape this and you get like Hakai'd, which is kind of cool. But visually, it's not much to look at. So here's what we're going to do. Put Zelda right there, top of D tier. 
get controversial. Zelda beating out Shulk and Super Sonic. Alrighty, Pit. What do you even do? What's happening? Oh. Uh, he gets the the Dragoon from Kirby's Air Ride ability. I feel like I've never seen this before, dude. I swear. Um, I like the unique model made for the chariot. Respect the extra effort that did not need to go that hard. But also, it's nearly instantaneous and super boring. Hit is going straight into F tier. I'll be real, what the hell does Rob even do? What is this? Okay, all right. And then we can aim the laser, and there's a bigger laser. Uh, it's a better laser than the other lasers, I'd say. Let's do it from further away this time. This is another one I don't think I've ever seen, I swear. It's it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's, it's a pretty good laser missile combo, but it's nothing exceptional. And I think that means Rob... Rob's got to go with the other lasers, and I did already say it's the best of the lasers, so there you go. Another one, I don't even think I've ever seen this one. What is Bowser Jr.? He turns into- Oh, this sucks. I've seen this one. This one's ass. This is terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new worst one in the game. I'm not even gonna see it again. Okay, I already know when Zenoros is good. Let's do it. Let's wrestle. Yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. In the ring, the explosion. It's, it's good. It's very good. I'd say it's a little too fast, but we're gonna watch it again. Dude, before Smash, I didn't give a crap about Incineroar. Now, one of my favorites. The Smash effect, dude. That's that's the easiest A tier of my life. Uh, behind the stampede of Yoshi's, I would say. All right, Kazuya was a late game addition, so his gotta be good. Oh, that's right. The Devil Kaz laser. I like it. However, I thought it would be better considering that that Kaz was a very late addition. Let's just uh, let's do it one more time, just for fun, funsies. Number one, this is definitely the thing he does in the games that he's in. <laughs> Take that, little Mac. Um, I just don't think it's good enough. I just don't think it's strong enough. I'm gonna put this B tier. Alrighty, let's get cooking. It's not the cook. Do I just, am I just thinking of the Brawl ones at all times? Uh, let's watch this again when I'm not talking about the cook. Uh, it's a rainbow Kirby-ass Kirby combo. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. I think I like it better than the old one, but the old one was a little more unique. I'm gonna put that right behind Palu. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the same as regular Mario's, but you blast them with the power of free health care. It's basically identical. I'm gonna put it in the exact same spot as normal Mario. However, the pills are funnier, so one point higher. Dude, you wanna talk about wasted character slots? Look no further than Dark Pit. Let's do it. Oh, that was ass. That was terrible. You just snipe him, and that's it. It's like Lynx, but worse because it's Dark Pit. In fact, we're putting it even lower. Yeah, 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 right there, right there. <laughs> Behind Mr. Game & Watch. Okay, I'm pretty sure Toon Link has Link's old good one. Yeah, Toon Link has the good one. Which is still one of the peak final smashes. Always has been. But we gotta do it when it actually kills from the most dramatic effect. Yeah, it's still sick. It's still great. It's the OG, like, combo attack that is hype as hell. It's still good. B tier, after Kazuya, after Greninja. Okay, what the hell is Duck Hunt Dogs? Oh shit! The NES Gunslinger Battle Royale! It didn't look like we actually hit him. Let's do it one more time. I mean, I like showing off the boys. Okay, we're definitely hitting them. And then all the things explode. No, they didn't explode. Ah, uh, if they exploded, we'd be in better business, but they didn't explode. So, Duck Hunt. Um, I think it's okay. I don't think it's bad. Put it above Rob, put it above Kirby, but uh, behind power. Ah, Piranha Plant, the most unexpected DLC of all time. Let's do it. Yeah, summon Petey. Do the the brawl super. Yeah, do, do the brawl boss fight thing. And uh, that was basically it, to be honest. That's that's really I mean what else would he do? Oh shit! He doesn't even he doesn't even die. He didn't even die. It's fine. I, I'm happy to see Petey Piranha, but 
it's not enough to really make it home. The Brawl reference is great, but I don't think it's enough. Brawl Plant. I'm gonna put you above Zelda, though. That's definitely better than Zelda's. The internet broke when Sora was announced. Uh, obviously, he's gonna do the thing. Lock him in the key. Animate. Lock him in good. Explode the door. It's great. It's, it's very in character for Sora. It's basically perfect. Um, I think it's missing a little bit of extra sauce, but it's also perfect at the same time. It's, it's too good not to put high. The perfect Sora super, and I'm gonna put that right here, top of B tier. Okay, um, I don't remember what the hell. Oh, it's one of these, okay. And it still hurts him. Um, I don't need to see that again. We, we, we all know where that one's going. Boom. <laughs> okay, Zero Suit Samus is actually pretty damn cool. See, we jump on the ship, she turns back into normal Samus, and then we just do this big-ass blast. Involving the ship makes me happy. I don't know why. The only link's dead. Involving the ship makes me happy, and I really couldn't tell you why, but let's do it one more time for fun. I like this better than her normal one. Like, it's just... It's just better, dude. It's just a better beam. It's more cinematic. It's more badass, man. Uh, regular Samus was in C tier. Zero Suit's going in D e tier, right above Kaz. If I'm not mistaken, Wolf's is exactly the same as the other ones. But it's kind of cooler just because it's Wolf. It, it's it's kind of cooler because Wolf is cooler. So for the sake of fun, we're going to do it again. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, all right, there's only one reasonable place to put this. It's Fox's butt cooler because it's Wolf. Therefore, Fox is right here, Wolf right there. I don't make the rules. In fact, yes, I do. How tall is Rosalina? Good God. Okay, Ryu has two though. Maybe the old Shinku. Of course, the Shinku Doken, you know, obviously. I think it depends where I'm standing. Yep, that's it. Yeah, dude, the Shin Shoryu. 10 out of 10 super. If the Shin Shore used a bona fide classic right here. It looks great. And the fact he has two supers. I'm gonna put Ryu in B tier. Uh, right, right behind you guys. Thor, you're getting moved up. Robin, you're getting moved up. The C tier's looking a little too, a little too crowded. So I already know I'm gonna be very torn on this one. Because for the context of the game, it's perfect. Literally, it's perfect. It is an all-out attack. It does exactly what it's advertised as doing, and it's basically ripped straight from the game. At the same time, though, it's also super, super simple. I do like that there's like different voice lines from all the other like uh, party members as well, which is why I'm very torn on it. I think it's good. In fact, I think it's great, but I think it could be cooler. However, it is just such a straight reference that I can't knock it for doing anything different. Joker, I have to put in B tier, but I can't put him that high. So we're gonna put him bottom of B tier right there with Kaz. Okay, so I wasn't gonna just do any me brawler super. We gotta do the Burger King super. Then with the old Whopper song. Uh, it's one of the most intense one of these combos in the game. Like straight up. That looks like it hurts, man. Let's watch it again where it'll actually kill though. Like, just look at this ass beating. Like that just looks painful. It's still just a me brawler, but it's a pretty good combo super. Put it right here. All right, boys, I don't know if you're ready for this. It's Pikachu time. And yes, it's exactly the same as Pichu's. Identical, except he doesn't hurt himself. So for the lack of self-inflicted pain, he's going one point above Pichu. Falco, my boy, once again, the exact same super as the other ones. He does a little spin, though. He does a little spin in there. But here's the thing, though. Falco's super is more focused on Falco showing off than actually doing the job, right? But you got to respect the little spin he does. That takes some serious piloting skill. Yes, it is going right with the other two. And yes, it's going right between them. What the hell even is Wario's? Okay, he turns to Wario Man, beats the crap out of him, and then rips ass. Fantastic. Uh, so, 
I know I didn't sound enthused for that one. I think it's one of the better combo supers. Look at the unique screen, the posing, the special effects, the ass ripping. Uh, I gotta put that decently high. It's just a little too fast, but it's gotta go with the other combo super somewhere. So let's put it, but oh, that's where it goes, behind Joker. <laughs> Those are the same as Isabelle's, right? Yeah, build a house and the house explodes. Uh, Isabelle's house was nicer. I'm gonna say that, Isabelle's house was definitely nicer. So we're not, we don't gotta watch that again. Worse house than Isabelle. I don't remember if Ken has to, let me see. Far away. Okie dokie. But from close up, he does this. Okay. The Jinrai kick's pretty badass. What I want to know is why... I guess you have to do it like this. Yeah, Shin Ryuken's fine. The Jinrai kicks are the real super we're ranking here, though. Let's be real. And Jinrai kicks are solid. Definitely feels like a Street Fighter-ass super. Looks cool. Well, looks way cooler when it kills, though. Looks way cooler when it kills, so let's just do that. Way better. I'm um, still not my favorite. I think I prefer the Shin Shoryu better. Okay, I remember liking Heroes quite a bit. Yeah, because we get the, the entire like pantheon of Dragon Quest heroes here. And then one big ass slash dude. It's it's pretty good. We're gonna do it one more time. But I would say the only thing holding this back is the frame rate tank during this dude. Like the frame rate goes out the window during this super, which I guess that's not the super's fault, but uh, yeah, that's A tier. That's going above you, right there. Hey, Lois, I'm in Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this sucks. This is the really shit one. That's ass, that's terrible. We're not watching that again, not even for Peter Griffin. Boom, right there. I forget, does Luigi still have the sex dance? No, he does not. I might have to do a brawl video because some of these changes are objective downgrades. Oh, uh, speaking of downgrades, this one was just not very good. I'm glad he uses the damn Poltergust for something. I'm, I'm happy to see it. But, I mean, he also uses it for this. But it's it's it was super basic and kind of boring. I'd put it right above, right above F tier. Okay, Marth, uh, another one hit, however. This is probably the most badass one hit in the entire series because it's super fast. It's an instant kill no matter what if it hits. Like, it feels powerful. It's still not on par with some of the other, like, way stronger ones later. Dude, for what it is and for how old this super is, I can't really put it that low. I'm going to put it, like, fucking... Uh, I want to put it fairly high, actually. I'm going to put it bottom of B tier. Like I said, I know, it's, I know, I know, it's just one good hit, but man, it's, it's a good-ass hit, what could I say? Nyx was another one they changed, right? Or is it the same? No, they did change it. Yeah, that's way worse. I may have to do that brawl video, man, because look at this. What's the smoke for? Oh, I guess the call in the airstrike, I guess, but like, look at this. Eh, that's not good, man. That's not, that's not very good. Behind Mewtwo. Okay, uh, fellas, fellas, fellas. Uh, best one in the game incoming. This, this is perfect. The perfect super. In every way. One more time. One more time, just to make sure that it's perfect. Stuck in the dark hole. That all the Mega Men from across the universe, plus Proto Man in base. It's, no. S tier. S tier and best in the game. S tier. Non-negotiable. It's the perfect super attack. Okay, so I know Cloud has two now, but obviously Omni Slash, uh, one of the best combo attack supers of all time, and still holds up as one of the best. All right, Omni Slash V5, that's right. Cloud is the only character in the game to get an updated super throughout the lifespan of the game. And Omni Slash V5 is literally just better. It's just better, dude. So we're gonna do it one more time, right? Does it do more damage too? Am I crazy? We're gonna do it one more time. Because look, the animation's better. The cinematography, the camera work, it's it's sick. S tier, without question. He has two S tiers. And just barely does not dethrone Mega Man. You know what? This is a tough one. It's a toss-up between Cloud and Mega Man. Who do you think wins? Let me know in the comments below. What the hell is Banjo's? 
What does this one even do? Oh my god! It's so fast! And then just crack his head open, why don't you? Dude! It's so fast, I couldn't even tell you what happened. Hold on a minute. We gotta... We gotta go back a little bit. We gotta s slow this down. So this is in half speed. I don't know if the animation will play in half speed, honestly. It does, okay. So the big guy wakes up, just wails on him, nose first. And then all the other big guys come in just right in the head. Okay, I think it's fine. I, I think it's it's fine. That's probably going in that's going in seat. Honestly, yeah, I strolled right up the seat here and like that feels right. Right there. Nah, better than you. Nah, better than these two. Better than you. Better than you two. Better than you. Right there. Dude, I still can't believe they put sands in this game. Uh, me gunner. Just, you know, why not? Another basic ass beam. It's really nothing too special. It's it's just the beam. It's just a beam. It's just a beam. That's it. And it's fine. Elevated a bit by the fact that it's Sans doing it, but you know, it's really still just a beam. And you're going right there with the other beams, and you are the worst of those beams. So there you go. Okay, so this is just PK Starstorm again. Just he summons different different boys, but it's still kind of meh. It's still just kind of meh. I'm gonna put it exactly where the other PK Starstorm is, but lower, because he doesn't have a dog. Hey, okay, Lucina, same as Marth's. That's it. It's the exact same as Marth's. And by that logic, I gotta put it in the same spot, but Marth did it first. Uh, the original combo attack super. And it's still kind of a banger. This was obviously directly inspired by Omni Slash back in the day, like without a doubt, Ike was literally just their cloud. But that doesn't make it any less hype. Like it's still very solid. Yeah, it's still solid. It's still really good. I've seen a lot of combo attacks today though, so I, I'm not gonna put it crazy, crazy high, but I am gonna put it with all the other ones. It's not as good as Sheik's. Uh, or I mean, I'll put it. Ah, that's a tough one. It's in here somewhere. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put it right here for now. Now nah, links is better. No, nah, shit, that was better. Yeah, there we go. Right there. All right, we fit trainer. You just shoot some yoga poses, right? And then one mega yoga pose. That's that's terrible. <laughs> that's that's ass. It's basically Mario's, but worse. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put it right there. No, nah, it's a little better than these. Put it right there. DK moving you out of F tier. Yeah, that feels that feels better. I don't remember Corrin's. What is Corrin's? Turn to the dragon thing, right? Yeah. And then you just throw the old Okay. Weird water typhoon thing. It's it's fine. But this also feels like it could just be a normal attack in a weird way. Not impressed. Corrin, you're getting put in like I don't know, man. Right there. Okay, so Terry's not like Ryu and Ken. He only has one, right? Oh, we got him. Yeah, honestly, Terry's is great. Real talk, we're gonna we're gonna rewatch that because I missed the first couple hits, but but real talk, Terry's is actually really good. You get the triple power geyser. You get the power dunk, and then you get the Buster Wolf, and it's probably the best Buster Wolf Terry has ever had. Uh, that's gonna be an A tier for me. It's absolutely an A tier above you two right there. So Captain Falcons used to be one of the goats, right? Back in Brawl. It was like the only one that had the unique transition and stuff like that. Now it's kind of simple. Like, it has not survived the test of time as well as some other ones. It's still fine. He still gets to run somebody over, which is great. But it has not survived the test of time like the, like, you know, the classic Falcon Punch has, you know? I don't want to do it, but I gotta put Captain Falcon like D tier. Up and right above PD. I'm pretty sure Yon Link also has the Triforce Slash. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly the same as Toon Links. It's exactly the same as Toon Links. So there's a reason I'm going to put Toon Links higher. Mainly because this is Young Link. They could have, like, turned him into Fierce Deity Link or done some of the masks. There's a lot they could have done to make his more unique, and they just chose not to. I'm putting him the same as Toon Link, but below Toon Link, just for those reasons. Okay, Pokemon Trainer. Uh, I like Triple Finish. But at the end of the day, it's it's just another beam, dude. Like, it's literally just another beam. I'm going to put it higher than some of the other beams just because of that at the bottom. I like the text box. 
I, I like that it's super effective. I like that all three Pokemon are doing it. But it, it really is just another beam, dude. Below the Samus is actually right there. Right there with Lucario. F tier incoming, right? This is terrible. It's horrible. That's without question F tier. In fact, barely better than these three. Alrighty, Bayonetta. I can't remember Bayonetta's at all, dude. Oh, that's right. She's got to do stuff to make something happen, right? And then she does the thing that we got to mash. Do I actually have to mash? Yeah, I do have to mash. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We got to... I got to properly mash it out. One more time. Beat the crap out of him. Beat the crap out of him. i miss again. And then just mash everything. There we go. Okay, it's the same thing even, even if I actually hit it. It just does more damage, I guess. Um, pretty good. I like it. Bayonetta, I feel like if they if this game came out after 3, they could have done some insane stuff. But that's still pretty insane. Uh, I think it's a solid B tier, honestly. Let's put it... Yeah, that feels right. Okay, what the hell does Byleth do? I don't remember. Oh, that's right, the JPEG. The JPEG, but with some pretty cool animation behind it. We're gonna do it again when it kills. Yeah, I think this is both sick and lazy at the same time. But the animation's so nice, and the cinematography is clean. The camera work is clean. Let's throw Byleth a bone. Let's put Byleth in B. Bottom of A tier. Okay, uh, another probable F tier incoming, right? Is just Big Jigglypuff. Which, Big Jigglypuff is funny. Jigglypuff, I'm gonna put you in F tier. I gotta do it. Right there. Yep, right there. Alright, Gandalf, you still turn into Big Boy yourself, right? Yeah, so do it one more time real quick. It's fine, right? We turn into big, like, final form, Ocarina of Time Ganondorf, and do the rush. It's also so fast, so unimpactful. I can't put it in F, but it's in E tier. Ganondorf in E, basically right there. What the hell does Diddy do? Oh, okay, it's like worse supersonic. Okay, you know what? It's actually better than Super Sonic because you have a guaranteed hit at the end, at least. Super Sonic, dude, you can do the whole thing and miss every shot. But you get that last locked on hit at the end. It's basically a lock. That puts it right above Super Sonic, for sure. Forgot to show the list again. Super Sonic's right here. He's going right above him. Okay, so Little Max is basically identical to DK's. I think it's actually the exact same animation. Am I, in am I crazy? But I'll give Little Mac one bonus point. He transforms into not so Little Mac. But I'm pretty sure it's the exact same animation. So we're gonna put him one above DK. Don't remember what Inklings is. Oh, this thing. This should not be a final smash. It's a beam, but Inkling can move around during it. Which I actually feel like removes some of its impact. Yeah, that's kind of ass, dude. That's that's kind of bad. Right there. No, even worse, actually. Right there. Even worse, right there. Right there. That Yeah, that's it. Holy crap, that was bad. And our final character is Min Min, and I'm pretty sure hers is a rush attack. Maybe not. Maybe it's a little better than a rush attack. It's a rush attack, but from the entire cast of arms. You know what? That was actually, that was actually pretty sick. Hold on. I, I didn't remember that as well as I thought, so let's, let's hit it one more time. The entire squad is here. Is absolutely beating the crap out of him. Then you get the nice beam at the end. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one to end it on. Let's put that in A tier. Uh, above you, above you. Not above you. That's it. We're there. We've done it. No, I think we're there. I think this is the list. I'm going to scroll down. This is our list of the final smashes in Smash Ultimate. Agree? Disagree? Let me know. Uh, I'm always curious to hear your opinions. Here's what I want you to do in the comments, guys. Give me your top five final smashes in smash ultimate other than that guys i don't know if this is the end of smash content for this channel it's not making a full return but i have always wanted to do a world of light nuzlocke so if you guys want to see me make an attempt at that let me know in the comments below um other than that subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next one until then everybody